What's up guys, my name is Joshua, back here with another Minecraft video, and today I will be covering, uh, every, almost everything, well, yeah, maybe everything, um, that I know of, of the newest snapshot, 20W46A. So, the first thing I want to start off with is the bundle. So, apparently this can only hold a stack of items. Um, so, like, we go to our survival inventory and take this up. We can, we can take that much diamonds, but we can only take, you know, a half of that of the stone so in total you can only hold 64 items uh inside a bundle um it could be any different entity well item so yeah that's cool but yeah the max maximum item quantity it can hold is 64 so let's put that back and we'll get to this later but the all amethyst stuff and these can be found in caves but what i want to show you is the spyglass and i think the spyglass is pretty cool but you know there is optifine just saying but if you if you really don't want to buy uh or to get optifine optifine is free by the way uh just go to the website uh, but if you really don't want to get it, I guess you can go with this. And, but, oh my god, okay. Okay. Well, what was that? What is, is, huh? Is that how it's, oh my god, okay. That, that has to be a, that's either a bug or it's just my lag. Oh my guys. Okay. Guys get off the fine. <laughs> but it does but it does zoom considerably far. But yeah. I mean yeah, that's pretty much the spyglass. Um I'm pretty sure to craft one of these you need copper and amethyst sh shards. So uh yeah, let's go to the amethyst. So let's do game mode spectator. And let's go down. And see, there's one straight away. Oh my god, dude, I'm so lag. The lag. So this is one right here. Let's go. Let's see. Let's go to the opening. Okay. So in here, it's it's pretty cool. And when you step on it. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Let me just put my volume up. Uh, options. Music and sounds. Boom. Eh, okay. I'm pretty sure now you can hear it. But you can see that every time you step on a block of amethyst, it makes like a sound. Which is very cool. And also, when you break it, when you break an amethyst cluster, it makes like a sound. So, I can I can definitely see people making music, like a lot of different kinds of music, especially with like uh, note blocks and stuff. And also, it's there's kind of like different layers to it. So, like here is the tough. Uh, let me let me get night vision real quick. So, right here is tough, which looks very, very blurry, I, I would say. It, it kind of looks like a dead netherrack, I would say. Like a, a dead old netherrack. This, however, this I can definitely see being used in builds. I don't know about the tough, though. Um, block of amethyst, though. Very nice. Oh, and also, if you place it down, it also makes block like sounds. So yeah, that's very cool. 
So, yeah, that's pretty much all for the amethyst shards. And also, these these can be found in, like, many sizes. Um, so, this, I believe, is, like, a large or something. So, if we go into spectator mode. Yeah, this has to be about a large one. But we can find tiny ones as well. Kind of like this one. I mean... Yeah, I guess this could be a tiny one. Um, this one maybe. But yeah, they're pretty. They're, if you look in spectator mode, obviously. But the the definitely very cool and very worth to look at. And also another thing I want to show you guys, hi creeper, is copper. So let's go out of spectator mode real quick. Uh, oh my god, the lag, dude. Oh my god. So let's go over here. And let's go over copper. So. Ah, no, okay. Copper. So there is a lot of copper stuff. And you can see there are like a lot of you know types of co copper there is like you know normal copper and then there's weathered copper which turns green over time i guess they put it in there uh if anybody wants to make the uh, statue of liberty or something so this is the copper ingot you can uh, use it to make uh the spyglass as long as as well as many other things, I believe. Um, yeah, as, and the copper block. I think to make a copper block, you only need four ingots. So that's, the price has gone down from nine to four. But that's only for the copper things. Don't get your hopes up, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and so the, there are different kinds of copper. So there's the copper block, of course. There's the lightly weathered. There's the semi-weathered. And there's the fully weathered copper block. And then these are the cut ones. So you can definitely tell the difference with them. Uh, like this, like that. I mean, they they go green over time. And oh my god, I I am walking so weird. Look, look at my flames for a second. Oh my god. But anyway, so yeah, you can see that they have a great difference. I'm pretty sure there's also a lightning rod, isn't there? Yes, there is. So apparently, this attracts lightning. If put, of course, in a high area. So let's just go up, like, way, 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 way up. Like, super up. And boom. Now let's set the flash where weather thunder. So... Apparently, if thunder does, you know, sp well, like, you know, summon itself, it should go on to here. And this, once get, once it gets struck by lightning, it uh, gives off a redstone signal. So, let me get some redstone. Where's the redstone? Redstone. Okay, this. So I'll cut, I'll cut to the part. Well, I I actually might just summon some lightning. Oh my god! Why am I so laggy? What? Oh, did, did you just see that? I don't I don't know if it um activated it, or not, but it definitely worked. It might be like on the ground. Oh, there, there it went again. 
And oh my god, I've never seen that happen. A horse just spawned there. And it got struck by lightning, what? Whoa, what the heck? Dude, that's so weird. That is so weird, okay. Uh, that's very off topic, go away. Go away. Yeah. Okay, I probably should But anyway, yeah, it definitely, definitely works. And I'm so sorry, guys, for my flames. Very bad. And yeah, that's, I think, oh yeah, also one other thing I wanted to show you are the candles. Now, I can see this go in decorations, like, a lot. <laughs> so, let's just... Did you guys see that? Another one. Another, another time. So, I'm pretty sure if you... Put, again! Again! So, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> oh my god! What? 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 How? How? That got like... So, I, I don't know, I might put a, I might put a counter. Like, oh! There, there's one more! Alright, let's go back down for a second. Let's put it back to... That's another one. I, I cannot spell. Weather clear. That's another. Okay, so... First of all, I wanna just look at that. And this acts like, um, sea pickles. They, uh, multiple can be on one block, which is pretty cool. Get out of here. Ah, okay, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty cool, and also, um... They can be lit using a flint and steel. So let me get that. So they can be lit just like that. They can also be lit using dispensers. And I I believe they go out over time. I'm not sure. They also give, of course, some light. I'm pretty sure the light varies on how much there is. Yeah, the it does so what I want to know okay so you cannot put different colors in the same block but I guess that's obvious and yeah the more candles they are the more light they produce kind of like real life and this I think is equivalent to a normal twitch so yeah that's cool very cool and also they can be used with dispensers so Dispensers can both um, put them out and light them. So if you put that in a yellow candle right there, put put a flint and steel in there. Let's get a level. They can they can just light it up just like that. So if you want to make like a you know, a nighttime light thingy. I guess th I guess this could be a good way. I can like maybe put a daylight sensor right here, and a and a dispenser with flint and steel inside. Oh, and also the flint and steel uh, gets its durability used, so you're going to also have to replace it if you're gonna do that. So yeah, that's very cool, and I believe that's everything I covered for the 1.16, 1.17 snapshot, and yeah, I cannot wait for this update to come out, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a, another snapshot next week, uh, where they add more cave updates, I'm not sure about the cliffs though. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, or found this video very helpful, be sure to like this video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It goes a very long way. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.
the truth. 